Hello guys, good day to you, welcome to this new video, I'm Andrew from Your Have Games and today we're going to see a game engine that is actually made with Godot engine. We're going to see RPG in a box, it's actually a very interesting idea of a game engine. I'm talking about this engine for two reasons, the first one is because it's free on Epic Games so you can go and you can grab this software right now. It's going to be free until 8th of December so just go and grab this, it's free, come on guys. And the second reason is because it's made with Godot, so <laughs> yes, it's something that you can actually make with Godot. Okay guys, I just realized that before we even start using the software, actually I'd like to show you the site, and the site actually explains a lot of things, and you can find here what is RPG in a box, and you can definitely support this project by buying it on itch or buying it on steam. And that's great because who is working actually is working alone as long as I remember. And Justin Arnold is creating this with Godot Engine. And Godot Engine actually is a, such a great and powerful software that you can really make whatever you want. And he is making whatever he wants with this software. Obviously, you need the knowledge to make this stuff. It is great because you can export your games as well. And you have all the tools you need inside the software basically. So you have a voxel editor, you have a map editor, so it's it's based obviously on voxel blocks, you have some visual scripting here, you have a dialogue system, you have a camera system, you have a UI customization, you have basic items and sound effects generator. So basically there's a lot of stuff here and I and I'm really curious to see this in first hand and you can see obviously the games and demos there are a few projects here that are made with rpg in a box and definitely i'm going to try a few of those by myself to see what actually you are able to make with this game engine and there's the documentation as well and why not there is the press as well where you can find everything without further ado let's jump directly in the engine now i already opened it but I'm going to restart everything from scratch, so basically I'm going to close this. Okay, here it is, this is its interface, it's quite familiar and it looks a lot like Godot actually, at least the colors are there. As long as we're going to start, it's going to be quite different. Now I'm going to create a new game, I'm going to take this example here, but you can grab a blank project, you can grab a bare bones project that has just a few things and there are some pattern asset games mini ca caves and there's other stuff actually these are all templates and kini one bit game that looks amazing i'm going to see this later we're going to grab the default example game here my game i you need to specify a folder here so basically create a new folder so basically we have our first model here and this model is Justin, it's called Justin, so you can open it and a voxel editor will pop here. Now I, I don't know if you ever worked with Magicka voxel, but it works like this. You can see that you create these cubes and basically you can add, you can subtract and you can do all this stuff. And you have Ctrl Z available here. Now, if you see here, you can actually move through the frames of this animation because this voxel editor allows you to make animations of your model as well. So you can play the animation like this and we are on the attack animation. We're going to walk and this is our walk actually. It's quite nice. Look at this. Look at this. I'm just going to play the game really because I just want to see how it feels to play this game. So quick play, if I click on that, your project has changed and will be, okay, that's fine. And this looks a lot like Minecraft. Let me tell this. It looks a lot like Minecraft. Okay. New game. It moves one block per time, but if you keep the keyboard, the key pressed, actually it moves more. And that's great, actually. It feels okay to me. So we can use the mouse as well. Look at those animations here. There are some shadows there as well. Woo. Didn't expect that to, to be there. Can we talk to someone? Sarah. Okay. Someone stole. 
actually you have a game already made here so it's just a demonstration what you can actually do and that looks great we have the inventory we have quests as well yes and we have some weapons what we're going to do is actually to open our map overworld let's see what is going to to show us oh look at this you can zoom in zoom out as well we can free the camera in this button here so we can really really float wherever we want and do whatever we want basically basically we can add stuff just by grabbing th that stuff right here i can grab put it like that and it's going to create a path for us basically look at this oh you can actually tile everything okay here they are so basically we can move right there look at this So basically you can have all these assets here and you can use these assets to make whatever you want basically. Now whatever we can see here, we have the script editor, okay, open this one and this is the script editor. Basically you need to read documentation because I have really no idea how to use this. But there's stuff that is happening here, dialogue, Sarah, okay. Oh, given coins, then section one. This looks quite powerful to me. I mean, this thing has a lot of stuff inside. And believe me, guys, I mean, it's a real engine. You can go and make your games with this. I really didn't believe that you can actually make something like this with Godot. I mean, look what Justin made with this. It's such an awesome work. I really appreciate that. You can make very crazy stuff with Godot. So please go and check this software. It really deserves it. I'm Andrew from Millhead Games. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like and comment down below. And let me know if you are going to use this to make your own games. Why not? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification to not lose any of my future videos. And more important, keep devin' games!